the first hour of kindergarten. It is fun. It is magical. It's chaotic. It's scary. That's what this live stream is about today. We're answering your questions about the first hour of kindergarten, step-by-step step, through each minute so that you can have that first hour to be amazing. Are you ready? Here we go. song that you're listening to right now. Thank Dawn, the singing nurse. She's awesome. She's the one that wrote, produced everything. Welcome, Dawn. Today, we are talking about the first hour of kindergarten. <laughs> oh, it's scary. I am not going to lie to you. It, 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 You won't sleep the night before. At least I never did. I was always like going through Okay, this is what we need to do. This is what it's going to be. This is how it's going to happen. Everything. And you walk in, you're excited. They're excited. You're full of some anxiety. They're full of some anxiety. The parents are full of a lot of anxiety. I remember as a kindergarten teacher, and when I dropped my little kindergartner off in kindergarten, I, I had anxiety. Can you imagine how parents are feeling? It's it's a crazy day. So, and Miss Abuela, good morning um, from from France. Good morning, and actually, it's good evening for you. Good evening, and so kindergarten, so many things. So we're gonna go step by step by step. And as I was planning for today's live stream, I I have so many notes that I am gonna get through these. And then if there's any questions or we feel the need, I'm going to do a private video slash printable giveaway later on this week for people who want it. So stay tuned to the end to know how to get that and get access to it. So, um, so Miss Abuela and Miss Dawn, you are both here. Thank you for being here. If you have any questions, let me know and we will get them answered. Let's just jump right in because the first thing you want to think about is your planning. And the planning <laughs> is like no other day. It's like no other day. A regular plan might look something like this. Just kind of a brief little note. The first day, it really should have some details. You don't have to do this every day, but the first day especially the first hour, you're going to want to plan it out in your head. And we all know writing it down and being able to review it helps. All right. So we're going to jump right in. The first one is they're going to enter the room. <laughs> now, when they enter the room, you don't want to be there too soon because you're going to have students there anywhere from an hour to a minute before school starts. And if you get there an hour before, you're gonna be responsible for them and their parents for an hour, right? And so you want to plan your entry strategically. I would say five-ish minutes before school starts. And in another video, I and I'll link it later, um, I talk about how you send home a letter to parents, letting them know what to expect that first day, how to get into the building, how to walk their kid up to the, the door, when you'll be there, what's going to happen, kind of a step-by-step -step for them. Because again, they are feeling anxious. And this is your opportunity to start building that relationship with them. It is so important. You are their first teacher too. The parents want to know if 
you're going to take care of their kid, if you're going to keep them safe, if you're going to teach them, if you're going to love them. And the best way you can show them that is just by being available to the parents. Okay. You're, you're one of, you're one of their biggest assets in getting their kid grown up. Kindergarten's a big deal. It's a big deal. All right. So plan when you're coming in, smile, make contact, eye contact. Now with COVID, maybe you want to give some, some air high fives or whatever, whatever you're feeling comfortable with, whatever the parents are feeling comfortable with. You come in and the first thing you need to do is start giving them some very specific directions. Directions like um, come in, find your cubby in the closet or your hook, just hang up your stuff, don't unpack your backpack, and you're gonna say it over and over. Come in, hang up your backpack, don't unpack it. Come in, find your cubby, don't unpack your stuff though, just hang up your stuff and find your seat. You'll see your name tag. Just come on out, find your name tag, you'll see it. There's a color sheet there for you. Start coloring. Parents, can I see you for a second? And you're gonna see, you're gonna, you're gonna say that over and over because people are gonna be walking around like this. They're gonna be kind of terrified, all right? So you're gonna put on your happy face. You're gonna say the directions over and over and over and over. And you're gonna have some things prepped for parents. Very first thing, most important thing. You want to know how their kid is getting home. All right, so I used to just kind of write it on the whiteboard. Please, please tell me how your, your child is getting home. But I saw this little chart and I thought it was so cute. And this is one of the charts I'm gonna make available in that special video I was talking about. I'm gonna make this chart available to you if you want it. Um, why I love this idea is that you can use little sticky notes and parents can take the sticky note from wherever and just place it where they need to. Then what you can do is like even the next day, you can refer to this at the end of the, the day. And I would, I would actually take this outside with me, you know, um, so that I could remember who's going where, who's doing what and things like that. After the first, second, third day, this, this will change periodically because a lot of times parents want to pick up their kid the first day. And I would let parents know at the end of the day, we will meet you down by the flagpole. Okay. I don't really like to have them come up to the room that first day, just because I want to have their complete attention, my students complete attention to get them lined up, to get them doing the routine that we're going to do every single day. And if their parent shines their cute little face in the doorway, it's all over. All right. So I, I tell parents, go ahead and meet us at the, the flagpole. And if you have like a little fact sheet that you can give them to, here's where, here's when school ends. Here's where you can meet us. Here's where, when lunch is, this is how lunch works. Uh, things like that, that they're having questions about. But this is awesome. Then when you're done, this is just in a page protector. What you can do is actually uh, take, take this out of the page protector, put the sticky notes on it, then put it in your teacher binder. Have you made your teacher binder yet? I hope so. If not, here's a video right here uh, that you'll be able to uh, access and you'll, you can get your a teacher binder starter kit for free. Get that started. Put this in your teacher binder and have that available for your sub or just whatever. Then you know who's going where, who's doing what. All right. It's always available to you. So that's the first thing you want parents to tell you because the end of the day is a little like the beginning of the day. It's a little crazy. All right. It's a little crazy. Now, parent anxiety. Let's address that. They are anxious. And so in order to get them, this is going to sound cruel, but in order to get them out of your classroom, 
and on to, with the rest of their day. I always found it better to give them something in their hand and say, we're going to have a great day. Here you go. You can, you can read this. Wait till you get to the car to read this. And when they hear that, they're just like, oh, okay. And they want to, guess what they want to do? They want to get to their car super fast because <laughs> they want to know what, what is this? What, what is this? So I made up these little packets for my, my parents. And the first one is this little first um, day of um, school. Oh my word. I don't know if you can hear that, but it is raining and I am so thankful. Thank you, Jesus, because we are in like a drought right now. So I am so thankful that it is raining right now. I hope I hope you can hear it because it is a lovely sound. Um, so you can take a look at that um, poem right there. And I just found this on the internet. I typed it out, added a cute little clip art down there. Um, and this will be another printable I'll make available for that little free mini class that I was talking about um, so that you can just put that on. Um, <laughs> it's true, Don. You need crowd, crowd control, especially the first day of kindergarten, because if you have 18 students, you can have as much as like 50 people in your classroom. And I am not lying. It's crazy because each kid comes with two, sometimes three, sometimes four, sometimes more people that are taking pictures, who are crying, who are arguing with each other. I've seen it all. And what you want is them to leave. Honestly, that's what you, it sounds mean, but, but that's what you want. And so the other thing I have is I give them this. And um, I for this one, um, I, I made this one up because I team taught before. So I said we, um, and if you're just teaching by yourself, you can do I. So that's why I said modified. So that it's just a beautiful little, little poem. And parents, I've had parents that I got in the car and I ran and I just cried and I just knew everything was going to be fine. That's what you want. You want that connection. And then this one is very similar, but you have a little fun packet. And in the packet is a tissue. It is, there is also a cotton ball and the tissue is to dry their tears after they make themselves a little cup of tea. And then they're going to hold the little cotton ball so that they can remember just the warmth and wonderfulness of their child. Okay. But give them something, send them on their way. Okay. When the kids come in, Part, part two, we're, now we're on to finishing, coloring, and books. When the kids come in at their seat, I have a name tag, um, a color sheet ready for them. And this is available. The link is in the description down below. This is available for free for you today. And we have pre-K, preschool, kindergarten, first grade, um, all the things and just have them something easy to do at their seat. They're going to color. And then if you have a bulletin board ready with just, I use, um, used a um, clothespin with a little uh, stick pin in it. And I just made a bulletin board with everybody's name and a, a way to attach um, some work quickly. When they get this done, you can put it up on the bulletin board and say, oh, isn't our room amazing? This is so fun. And, and so that's when they come in, something calm, everybody can color. Not some can't color well, but everyone can color. And also a bin of books. All right. Do a bin of books in the middle of, um, we always had like communal tables but do a bin of books, maybe two or three per table and say, when you're done, you can, uh, when you're done with your picture, let me know. And then I'll put up the bin of books or let you read the books. Now, when I collect their paper, I did one other thing. And I think this is super important. I made name tags for everyone, right? 
Everyone gets a name tag. And as soon as I picked up their paper, put it on the bulletin board, be, um, before I walked over to the bulletin board, sometimes I had them walk with me and say, this is your spot, here's your name. Oh, let me put a name tag on you. Because some kids are so, I'm gonna put on Marvin's name tag. Some kids are so shy that they don't even wanna tell you their name. So put a name tag on them. Also, pro tip, put your name and your grade on there too. I was used to just put KK, Kindergarten Kentorowitz. Because sometimes the kids will go up for recess and when the bell rings, they don't know, even though you're going to train them later, that they're, they're supposed to come in. So the playground aide is like, oh, you're Marvin, you're in Miss Kay's class. Come on, your class went in already. You're, you're, you're supposed to be lining up. This, if they get lost in the, in the school, people will be able to get them back to you, okay? So put your name on there too. Their name, your name. And this today, the first hour, I guarantee that if you train yourself, you can, you'll can you know your students' names the first hour, but the name tag really helps, okay? So make sure you get them their name tag. Now, another thing that's really nice is to have an individual thing of Play-Doh for each kid because books sometimes are going to be like, mm, 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 done. I don't, I don't want to read these. Some kids have some anxiety. Uh, I don't know how to read. I don't, I don't, you know, things like that. Uh, a good fallback on, especially if, uh, and I've had years that like some kids don't want to come and sit down. Uh, they're clinging to their parents. Their parents are trying to leave. The parents don't want to leave. So you're having some issues. It's really nice to have some Play-Doh because this will keep them occupied for longer than a book. Speaking of keeping occupied, you are going to be by yourself that first day of school. But are you? One of the best things I ever did was to have some helpers. And the helpers I had were my mom and dad. They were retired. They had a little time. They're like, what do we do? What, what should we do when we come in? And I was like, it, you just come in and be available to me. So they did things like adjust sandals, help little boys zip up their pants, tie shoes, be at the end of the line, just be there uh, to say, oh, you're doing so good. Let me help you wash your hands. Here, I think you're supposed to be over here. Things like that. They are just there to, to do those little extra things that take a long time and that can just <laughs> mess you up fast as the teacher, okay? So if you can get somebody to come in and help you with just the littlest of things, it helps so much. I had my parents come in the first three days. And uh, when the fourth day rolled around and they weren't there, the kindergartners were like, where's grandma and grandpa? Where, where's grandma and grandpa? Uh, I, are they going to come today? I'm like, well, no, maybe in a couple weeks they'll come. They never came again. <laughs> they said they went home every day so exhausted that they're like, we need a month to recover. Um, but the kids love the helpers that come in. All right. So. That's like the first, I am not kidding you, 15 minutes. <laughs> it's the first 15 minutes, okay? I know, it's crazy. Now, um, then you get into an attention getter. And we've done some videos on attention getting. Um, the class class, yes, yes. And in that video that I'm talking about, the free um, extended training and printable video that I'm gonna be putting out. How about July 9th? I think that's next Friday. I can get that all done. Um, we'll go over exactly how to teach the very first procedure, and that is attention getting, because that is the most important. You can do class class, yes, yes. Or um, another one I always did, are you ready? Yes, I am. Um, just callbacks, because if you don't have control over your little kindergarten classroom, things are gonna get wild. 
<laughs> in not a good way. All right. So uh, there we go. Now, the next thing you want to do, and this seems kind of boring and mundane, but honestly, you want to talk to them about the restroom. It's going to be about a half hour into school and you might have some little darlings that need to use the restroom. They will say they do not, but they will need to go to the restroom. All right. So I always got a male helper, usually uh, the principal superintendent or uh, we had uh, Mr. B, who was our uh, maintenance guy, who is an amazing person just to come in and say, hey, this is how you use the facilities, little guys. This is how you wash your hands. Here's what not to do. Because if you do that, I'm going to have to clean it up and I'm going to be really sad. Okay. Um, so break up the girls from the boys. Go through, you know, say all the things. Do we look under the stalls? Do we stand on the toilets? Do we pee outside of the urinal? You have to be blunt, right? And get them doing that. Go through the washing hands. Don, whoop, whoop washing hands and uh, uh, procedure, and then get them um, to use the restroom. And they're gonna say, I don't have to. And you're gonna say, yeah, I know. We're just gonna pretend. We're just gonna pretend and you can go in and I want you to do all the things and then um, come back to the classroom and dig into the books and the Play-Doh, okay? So you're gonna have those available still to them because they're not gonna all be able to pee and wash their hands at the same time and get back to your classroom. So go ahead and have that ready as they're practicing. And yes, you really want them to use the restroom because a lot of kids have anxiety about the restroom. And if you can address that the very first hour, so good. And plus, then their bladders are empty and they're not thinking about, oh my word, I really you need to use the restroom and I really need to go home right now kind of thing. Okay. So get that done very first. Yes. You gotta, you gotta practice using the restroom. It's crazy. Um, another thing I always found so interesting is that, uh, you had to show a lot of kids how to lock the door. I don't know why they had to lock. You had to, um, know how to lock the door and then unlock it. Um, we, we would practice that. Um, another thing is I always, one of the things was I cannot help you wipe. I've, I've had countless kindergartners say, you, can you help me wipe? No, honey, I can't help you wipe. This is part of kindergarten. I can't help you wipe. You just need to do your very best. And so you kind of lay that foundation right away. I can't help you wipe. All right. You're in kindergarten now. Um, all right, so the next thing after the restroom is I do my rules and I do them super fast and I do them with Max and I introduce my class to Max and I'm like, hey, everybody, this is Max. Hi, Max. I know, they're so smart too. <clears throat> they are smart and cute. And did you know that they use the restroom all by themselves, I know. Yes, they did wash their hands, Max. Oh, Max knows it's so important to wash your hands, especially after you use the restroom. Yes, Max, we will be doing that soon. But first, we're going to go over the rules. Max wants to go outside for recess. And I said, I think right after we do the rules, we'll go outside for recess because we need to know how to, you like the swings. He likes the swings. He likes the swings so much. And sometimes the swings make him a little sick. Yeah, and then you just sit on the bench. I'll show you where, we'll show him where the bench is too. Okay, so Max, our class rules. Um, yeah, we do rule, but rules are a little different. It's kind of like things that we do every day to make our class amazing because I know. They, they are amazing. This could be the most awesome year ever, Max. So take care of people. That's our number one rule, isn't it? Uh, do what your teacher says because that's safe. And yes, I am going to teach them a lot. Yeah, Max, 
Max just said that I'm going to make a lot of mistakes. I know mistakes are okay. Uh, we're going to work hard. We're going to participate and we're going to use self-control. Yes, Max, take care of people is our very first thing. Like if somebody falls down, you help them up. If somebody needs a crayon, you help them find the crayon. If somebody is sad, if somebody is happy, you're a friend. You all, you know about, you're really good at that, aren't you, Max? Sometimes you do forget, but you always, you always do a very good job and I'm very proud of you. Okay, so the kindergartners are going to be able to really talk to Max and um, ask him questions and stuff. And this lasts for a very short amount of time. And um, we just do it like five minutes. Like what I just did, that's what we do. And the last part is to go outside and practice recess. Because there's two things the kindergartners want to do. They want to number one, they, they want to come and see you. That's really not all they want. They really want to go outside for recess and they really want to play, play with the toys that are in your classroom. Those are the two things they want to do most of all. So why not start the very first part of the day? You let them use the restroom. You know how to get their attention. Take them outside, show them the playground and get them used to the playground. Show them where they're gonna go out, how they're gonna come in, you're gonna practice. How do you swing? How do you not swing? Max got in trouble once for swinging this way and then he couldn't be on the, on the swings for like a whole week. And he was very sad because he loves the swings. All right, tell them the story about Max. They will totally believe you. <laughs> okay, that's the magic of kindergarten. They will totally believe you. Um, so uh, get them outside. I always like to have a playground monitor, whoever that would be, to also come outside with us. Because confessions of a bad teacher, I did not know all the playground rules. Sometimes I'm not sure anyone can know all the playground rules, but the playground is the hardest place to be. I didn't know all the playground rules. So if you have the master playground supervisor come out with you, get to know your students as well. All right. Show them. And then for 10 minutes, let them practice anywhere on the playground that they want. Then when you say, ring, ring, there's the bell. Where are we going to line up? Practice going back in, coming into the classroom. All right. That's the first hour. And there's so much more to the first hour that I will tell you about in uh, that free training. I'll have it available for you to click and download and get all the, the freebies on um, um, <laughs> yes, Don, that is one of the things I did have to remind parents is that I'm not allowed to, to do the wiping in, in the bathroom. And the parents are like, oh yeah, of course not. And I'm like, well, just so you know, you know, little so-and-so, little Hergenheimer wanted me to, to wipe and I, I just, I can't. And they're like, oh yeah, I know, I know. So <laughs> the things they don't teach you in college, right? <laughs> but kindergarten is so great. So make sure uh, I have the link to sign up for that reminder down below. It's makingthebasicsfun.com slash kindergarten. Uh, get on the waiting list for that. And then what I'll just do is uh, everybody who gets signed up for that, I will just um, send you the link on July 9th with the video and all the printables. And then you can have a little more summer because you will not have to worry about that first hour of kindergarten. It will be all laid out for you. You will have everything you need done, fun, sun. All right. All right. Are there any questions, my dear teachers? Yes, lots of practice. That's what today is about. It is not about academics. Not really. Mm -mm. It is about you building relationships with your students. It's about you showing them how much you love them, how much you care for them. It's about building those relationships with the parents. 
And it's about your students starting to build relationships with people outside of your classroom, the playground aide, the lunchroom lady, the principal, the um, maintenance guy, all those people they need to know and feel comfortable with. And that's what the first day of kindergarten is all about. And we will get into more of that at a later date. So speaking of a later date, I am going to take a break from the live streams until August 9th, because I'm going to start doing just some basic videos to help you through these first few days of kindergarten and first grade. And I think it would be better if I just did them and then published them without the live streams. So uh, do you call the school nurse if one of the kids has a potty accident? Dawn, you're so smart. Yes, I always did. Luckily for me, my kindergarten classroom was, I could like step out the door and see the nurse's office right there. And I would be like, Nurse Lamping. And she would be like, Miss Kay. And I would say, I need your help, please. Or sometimes I would even text her <laughs> and she'd come in. Yes, uh, she, Nurse Lamping, as I think maybe most school nurses are, is amazing. Um, can you show your first rules again? Oh yeah. And for my videos and welcome for sure. For Sean. I hope I'm saying that right. Let me grab that. Um, right there. And, but I would say to nurse, oops, jeepers. I would say to nurse lamping, you know, uh, we, we had a little accident and so, and she'll be like, oh, I have plenty of clothes or I can call mom. The school nurse is like your biggest support. At least <laughs> she was for me. Uh, she is still a very good friend of mine. And she, uh, what a school nurse does, there is no job description that can hold what they do for teachers. So please build uh, that relationship with the school nurse that first day with your students as well. Okay, so mine was always take care of people. And we talk about that actually very first, because for me, that is like the golden rule, right? This is, um, if, if this happens in your classroom, then really what else do you need? And then um, the, the other ones are right there. Okay. And this is something um, that I, uh, people always are like, you should build this, your classroom rules with your students. No, no, not for me. I know what I want my classroom to look like. I know where I want them to go. I don't really need nor want five-year-olds ideas on how my classroom should be run. I'm the boss of my classroom. These are the things that ha will, will be happening in my classroom. <laughs> I'm very, uh, as you can see, serious about that. I don't, I don't do that. Maybe that's good for other kids. I don't know. A kindergarten teacher in Georgia, whoop, whoop, third year in kindergarten. Oh, you're going to have the best year ever because the first year, it's like a fly by the seat of your pants. Second year, you're like, okay, I got this. Third year, you're like, rock star. You'll do amazing. So I'm glad you're here. Make sure you get uh, subscribed for anybody else. Also, make sure that you guys click that link down below to get the free, um, um, our, uh, come on. The, the free first day of school printable that you can, they can color and you can put up on the bulletin board and then also get signed up for that video that I'm going to have on July 9th. I'm just going to work really hard to get it for you. If you have any questions about the first day, first hour of school for kindergarten, let me know and I can include that in the video as well. All right. 34 minutes of total talking. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. I will see you uh, on the non-live videos uh, for the month of July and then back for the lives on August 9th. You guys are the best. Um, yes, Don, they, they really are just 
kindergartners are just so sweet. And first graders are so sweet too. I mean, all the kids are sweet, but they are just extra sweet. And they make you fun. And I don't know. They were always good for my ego because they thought I was a rock star, which I was, which you are. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody who can teach kindergarten or first grade is a special person. And I'm not just saying that because I did. <laughs> All right. I will talk to you guys later. See you soon. Bye-bye.